hit 10 or 20 shots with this. 20 enables you to have a shot score with each of your clubs. So first, don't hit behind the ball like that. But then once you've hit- that bad, Nick. It was a, I'm just, you know, they're, they're watching, they wanna hear something here. All right, Nick, so I have one of these sky tracks in my family room now. Uh, please help me. Amazing Heads investment, up. by the way. It, it was a great choice. I'm sure your wife hates you most of the day, but anyway. <laughs> She loves the family room. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, what do I do? I got 30 minutes, right? Yeah. Like at night, yeah. I go out, hit some balls. What, what should I be focused sure. on? Sure. Well, regardless of how long you have, you can still kind of do this. But okay. if you had 30 minutes, it'd be a great start to grab your driver if, once you're warmed up. Look at your shot pattern. So I know from these shots you've got in the top right corner, yep. uh, you can see the heat map up there. Most of them are pretty good. They're all near the center line. Looks like you've got a slight bias towards the left in these last 10 shots and a couple of them kick out to the right. Yep. So first understanding your shot pattern. You, If you're driving the ball 300 yards, you have 60 yards yards of width that 90% of your shot should be in. I know that's a little harder to remember, but just remember it as 10% to the left and to the right of your total distance. So okay. if you drive at 200 yards, you've got 40 yards left and right of your target where most of your shot should be. That would then tell you how you're doing, how's your skill at that level. Uh, the shot score down here, well, immediately when you turn on the software, based on how far and straight you hit the ball, it'll give you a score. So you can just hit 10 drives and take a look at what your shot score is. If you're not the type of golfer that you wanna be with your driver, if that number's too high, because that's really indicative of just what you would shoot when you go play. Mm -hmm. if that number's too high, you know you need to spend some time with your driver. And that's personalized? Uh, you, no, that's just golf. So okay. far and straight is golf. You don't need to have that personalized. Okay. The irons where you're hitting a particular club a certain distance, which is what we're gonna do next, yep. that's where you need the personalization. Not everybody's seven iron should be traveling as far as everyone else's. So you need a, a an expected distance measure, metric thrown in there. I'll hold Got your it. driver. Okay. You hit those well enough. Got another 74. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And what are you striving to shoot when you play? Um, yeah, 74. Yeah. I mean, I'll take that. That's pretty good. So that should tell you, okay, might not have been your best drive, but you can realize that if that's what you did every day, it'd be okay. Yeah. So let's hit one of these. So do the same thing. Hit 10 or 20 shots with this. 20 enables you to have a shot score with each of your clubs. So first, don't hit behind the ball like that. But then once wasn't you've hit- that bad, Nick? It wasn't. I'm just, you know, they're, they're watching. They want to hear something here. So 194 is the expected distance I have with a seven iron. You hit it 191. So that is really close. Okay. And then the offline is 10 yards to the right. So relative to the rest of your game, if you hit every seven iron like that, you'd shoot 68. Pretty good score. You can't get that till you've hit 20 shots as a golfer. But that would be a great place to start. Oh boy, that's not gonna get a 68. No, 101. <laughs> so if that happens to you once in a while, you'll know, oh, I got a seven iron problem I need yeah. to worry about. Couple that with the launch monitor uh, optimizer that's always there. So your launch angle, backspin, descent angle, and you start to see some patterns of maybe you hit the ball too high or too low. Uh, so I'm looking at shot patterns really, Cordy, as your 30 minutes. Hit okay. some drivers, take a look at your shot score. Recognize if you're within the width of your driving distance, 10% to the right or to the left, yep. you're good to go there. Check your shot score here. Do that after you hit 20 shots. Look for a bunch of green numbers. I mean, this isn't too hard. You can yeah. get, make this pretty simple. Okay. Last one would be a wedge and a good distance to hit would be say 30 or 40 yards. Okay. All right. All right, so let's hit this one, say 40 yards carry, and we'll take a look at those metrics. Think um, it went 40 yards? Yeah. Nope. Short. 34, close. Now we're looking at launch angle, backspin, descent angle here. And if you have at least one green number, you know you're doing pretty well. I see most people who struggle with these. Uh, that one you hit nicely. The yeah. launch angle, if anything, was a touch low. But having a low launch and a high backspin number like that's a great way to hit these wedge shots. Yeah. I see a lot of people with older clubs who have a really high launch angle and a low backspin number, and that's a tougher way to play. So you're pretty good at these shots. Not bad, I've got 37, some practice 41. on these. Yeah, now we've got a target green out there. Okay. This is on the medium level, medium-ish. So it's a little smaller green than PGA Tour average. Let's see how you ah. do. Want a little pressure on you here. So a good pressure. use, if you got 30 minutes, hit some shots just on the basic driving range, but then put a target out there. Oh, and then let's please. watch what happens. Oh no, it did. And it did, it started a little much. too no. straight. So watch that one fly under the green. Oh, oh. just missed. Shoot. 
All right, and a shot okay. score of 83. It wasn't Lovely. your best. That's not a terrible shot by any stretch. If that pushes just a little bit, it's on the front edge of the green anyway. Nick, I gotta do good. We're on uh, camera. Here. I know, everybody's watching and judging everything you do, I much know. like what I'm doing <laughs> right now. Yes. All right. All right, here will we Will this one be better? Yes, 83? It be. Yes, okay. it will be. Oh, that wasn't pure, but I go ball. You didn't have the same oh, level no. of confidence on that one. Okay. Gosh, Nick. Short and to the right this time, and a shot score of 99. <laughs> is that, it's, well, I remember you said higher the number, the better? Um, no. Oh. No, that's okay. definitely not what I said. Okay. Uh, that shot score number resembles what you would shoot when you play golf. Golf. <laughs> so, yeah, 99, okay. not so good. And right, we're just, we're just playing around, having some fun here. This, you can see how this does make it tougher, even for a good player. So, that's the value of... Putting a target oh, out there, hitting your shot. That one looks like it'll hit the green. Shot score is 90. Maybe. Is it not far enough? Uh, just missed the front right edge. So you see how that made it harder. Yeah. So between hitting some shots just at your target line, uh, then making this a little tougher, I mean, you got a great way of spending 30 minutes of your time. It's perfect. All right, so 30 minute practice plan. We're gonna hit 10, 20 shots. We're gonna get our kind of shot distribution yep. figured out. We're gonna look at our numbers, we'll look at our shot score. Then we're gonna test it, apply some pressure. We're going to do that. We can set up a green on the range or yeah. whatever you want. Rinse and repeat. Perfect. Just do that over and over, and you've got yourself a great way to get better at golf. Love it. All right, so next time we're looking at club fitting. Like maybe we can't get these numbers better, and we need to look at some different sticks. So that's next time in our Launch Monitor series.